copy this is MTF alpha 1 red right hand moving into suspected anomaly Copy is alpha one. I'm packing the mainframe. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Didn't notice you guys over there. As you can see, I'm packing the mainframe. Well, I mean, while I'm doing that, let's talk about art. The first of two paintings that we have to analyze is the Impressionist Movement painting, The Red Road Near Menton by Claude Manette which was presented in the year 1884. First of all, we need to identify the features of this painting. Its artistic role is a landscape, as it depicts a snapshot of a road that leads towards a mountain while being surrounded by foliage in the coast. It is fine art, as it seems that it is to be presented in a museum. The style is abstract, as it looks like a blurry version of reality. In the foreground, we can see some foliage of plants, colors ranging from black to a darker shade of yellow and to a darker tint of green. In between the left and right sections, we can see a curved paved road which leads to the mountain. On the middle right, we can see some more foliage with lighter colors ranging from white to a lighter yellow and a lighter green. In the middle ground, on the center left, the coastline is shown to have dark blue water, with some dark green shading near the edges. In the background on the top, we can see white icy mountains which blend into the white sky, with some darker shades of blue or grey in the bottom for the non-icy parts of the mountain. There seems to be some yellow radiating from the mountain, which might be from the sun above. Some notable artistic elements on the painting are the use of colour. The colors in this painting are mostly bright colors, which might reflect the time of day, which could possibly be noon, as it has a similar brightness level in my opinion. The parts of the top left corner have a less rough texture, as they are more distant, which means that their details are less visible, and that they have more cooler colors in order to depict the ocean, the mountains, and the sky. While the bottom right corner, which has a rougher texture as it is closer, which means that it is more detailed and uses warmer colors to depict land and foliage. I think that the most important part of the painting is the foliage on the left bottom corner, as it is the most intricate area of the painting due to the amount of detail put into it. If I were to use words to describe the painting, I would use blurry, rough, and presents perspective well. If I were to ask the artist some questions about his work, I would ask him, what technique did he use to paint the rough areas in the foreground of the painting? I ask this as I find that even though the impressive style of painting is blurry, the foliage and the road are still recognizable, which makes my jaw drop in awe the more I think about it. What were the inspirations that led to his impressionist art style? I ask this due to my curiosity of the rationale of how Monet and his group of Impressionists decided to buck the trend and develop their own art style. What time of day did he paint this painting? I ask this due to not being able to tell the time, as there is a lack of shadows in the painting. The second of two paintings that we have to analyze is the contemporary painting Lofted Landscape by Huang Xiao Li. First of all, we need to identify the features of this painting. Its artistic role is a landscape, as it depicts a landscape that is similar to the Zhang Jiaji National Forest Park, the place where they filmed Avatar. However, with all the mountains as Legos instead, and the tree branches and leaves now being fans and pipes, its artistic category is fine art and pop culture, as it seems it is to be presented in an art and the use of current popular cultural icons, in this case being Legos as the mountain, being the reason for the painting also being 
popular culture. The painting fits in the category of abstract style, as it uses a stylized method of depicting mountains and trees as well as the clouds. On the upper left side of the painting, the Lego mountains appear to be at lower elevation, as shown with the clouds covering the top peaks of the Lego mountain. On the upper right side of the painting, the Lego mountains appear to be at a higher elevation, as shown with a lack of cloud at the peaks of the Lego mountains. On the bottom of the painting, there are stilts that are holding up the mountains that lead to a body of water which looks similar to a Chinese vase. Some notable artistic elements on the painting are the use of color. The peaks of the Lego mountain are light green, while the lower parts are peach. It's a rather simplistic way to show the greenery and the rocky surfaces of the mountain. The mountains are all made of trapezoid prism-shaped Legos, which makes the painting look like a Lego set. The artist has made the perspective as if the painting was taken from an airplane or a bird's eye view. From that perspective, everything is supposed to look far away. You can tell the elevation by where the clouds make contact with the mountains. I think that the most important part of the painting is the area where the temple roof peeks out of the clouds. From my perspective, it might mean that there is a temple in the heights of the mountains, which might mean there are people who live at such a high altitude. If I were to use words to describe this painting, I would use breathtaking, empty, and full of shapes. If I were to ask the artist some questions about her work, I would ask her what made her decide to make the mountains out of Legos, make the tree branches out of pipes, as well as the tree leaves to look like fans. I ask this question as I am curious of the artist's motivation in her decisions. What is the significance of the red temple in the center top of the painting. I ask this question as I am curious if the red temple has any significant meaning. Is there any special meaning to the painting that you have created? I ask this as I don't seem to find any particular meaning from my observation so far. Next, we are going to talk about the societal impact and assume the average college student's interpretation of the impressionist painting the Red Road near Menton. At the time the painting was created, it challenged society. Historically, people in the past weren't so open to change. In this case, new art movements. Claude Monet created this impressionist painting, which was in an abstract style and subjective. In an era where people were used to realist paintings that were naturalist in style and objective, he and his other Impressionists were shunned by art society until their new art movement became recognized some years later. If I were to guess what the average college student were to experience, I believe that they would have a hard time understanding the painting, as the painting is painted in a very blurry Impressionist art style. However, with some time, they should see the details of the landscape, such as foliage, the road, the ocean, the mountains, and finally the sky due to how the painting is arranged. After coming to the understanding, they might take a photo or selfie with the painting and share it on social media. Finally, we are going to talk about societal impact and assume the average college student's interpretation of the contemporary painting Lofted Landscape 1. I believe that the painting does not either support or challenge society. Considering that society nowadays is very accepting of different styles of art, this painting does not really challenge anything. It looks as if it is something that is from the imagination of the artist in the form of a painting. If I were to guess what the average college student were to experience, I believe that they might notice the Lego Mountains first, which may remind them of Legos they had played if they had Legos as a child. The next thing they might notice is the temple in red, as it stands out from the rest of the painting. They might be perplexed at what they are looking at. After looking at the painting, they might take a photo or selfie with the painting and share it with social media again. Well, 
That's all I have to say about that. This data is too valuable to fall into enemy hands. Shame. That was a pretty good computer. Command. SCP-106 has been detected. Moving out. All very so risky. I'm gonna take an emergency steps. I probably also lost a couple of kilos as well.